What's up, Kyle? Chilling, man. How are you? Great. How are That's you? Good. It's That's great, man. Awesome. It's a beautiful day. Okay, so about two and a half years ago, I had run into um, a friend, a friend of a friend of mine, and we we're just kind of chit-chatting and I'm like, hey, what are you up to? And he was like, oh, I just got back from Ethiopia, and like, kind of the first reaction that anyone reacts to is like, the f hell were you doing in Ethiopia? You know, he began to tell me that he had this orphanage down there, and and he goes down there and visits and raises money here back in Chicago. And like for my entire life, it was always like a dream of mine to go to Africa. Uh, so I offered right away. I said, if you need a photographer down there to help, you know, take pictures, help your raise awareness or anything like that, let me know. And he's like, we're absolutely need someone. Just everything was just kind of like worked out perfectly. And and so I called my friend back an hour later I said I got my ticket <laughs> he's like no shit and I'm like no I'm going so five days later I was you know packing up and leaving the country for pretty much the first time in my life so I went out there for two weeks and shot with the orphanage fell in love with the country and the culture and, and came back just feeling even more hungry and and immediately turned around a month and a half later and went back for three months and spent the rest of my summer there and then I had been kind of I've been going back and forth every six months for two and a half years now. It was, about my, it was about my third trip there where I was in the capital city of Addis Ababa and I had spent more time there and I just started looking around and I was like, wow, I'm like, these women here are very, very stylish. Like they have a really good fashion sense, you know? And, uh, and it just kind of took me by surprise because you just, Ethiopia is the very last place I think most people think of that there's fashion. There's people that are really like have their own thing going. And it was actually kind of funny because at the same time, they had no idea why I wanted to take their picture, like style, fashion, what, you know, because to them it was just like, I just, this is how I look, you know, and this is what I like to do. So my next step after that was like, okay, now let's find, I want to find a designer here that's doing things that could, you know, probably use a boost, use some help. I was just on the internet every day, just researching, researching, and I just kept seeing this name, Fakirte Adis, just kept popping up. And I was like, who is this girl? So I went and I found her website and, and read her bio and I really loved what she was all about. And I said, okay, let's, let's give this a shot. Let's just see what happens. So I just sent her an email and I said, hey, I saw your designs, I love it. I'm coming out for a few weeks and you know, if, if you'd like to shoot with me. It was within like maybe like a couple hours that she replied back to me and was like, this would be amazing. You know, I'm really interested and I'm really excited. Let's talk more and more about it. And it just kind of, you know, in a way it just blew my mind of like, God, like we're from the opposite ends of the world. We come from places that, you know, aren't anywhere similar to where we grew up and from, but artistically, like we were speaking the exact same language and it just, and after that, it just like the fuel on the fire just like exploded. And it was like, now what, you know? And so while we were out there, we went to a couple, they took us to a couple emerging fashion designer shows and my jaw literally hit the floor. And I sat there and I was like, I don't think anyone knows this is happening here. Yeah, no idea. Yeah, and, 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 and I said, this is something. And it was immediately like, when you get that kind of internal thing of like, something is about to happen here. It's like, we have to be here. We have to be a part of this. And, um, and then that was the night that we met Mafi. You know, she's, she's, young, she's this young designer, up and coming, she's doing amazing things. And so we met her at this fashion show. And she's like, I hope, you know, when you guys come back to Addis, you know, and, and, and you can shoot my collection. I was like, we'd love to. Literally two weeks ago, she calls me on the phone from Jamaica. She was just, her and Fricurte were showing in uh, Caribbean Fashion Week. And she calls me from Jamaica and says, Kyle, I'm in Jamaica. I really want you to shoot my lookbook. If I reroute my trip, I can stop in Chicago for a week. Can we shoot this and make this happen? And immediately I'm thinking, can we plan a lookbook in like six, seven days? And I'm like, hell yeah. You know, I'm like, yeah, get a plane ticket. Just get here. Let's, let's make it happen. You know, this is a rare chance. Like, I, I think this might be one of the only times an you know, African designer, let alone Ethiopian, has come to our city to shoot her collection. We walked up and down this entire city planning from locations and from timing to getting our models to getting the hair and the makeup and everything set and you know and and having one day to shoot this in too because like she had to fly back literally the next day and it all just came together. What we plan to do with working with Fakurte and Mafi is is plan to to come together and bring the community together and create 
mentorship programs, to create schools, to create workshops, you know, so we can mentor, you know, the up and coming creative. So you do have a place to go. Do you want to be a fashion photographer? Come here. We'll show you what you need to do to become that. You want to be a model. You want to be a you know makeup artist. You know, here's a structure, a foundation, so you can show your talents. It's not about me. It's about raising the next generation. And right now is like that time, that golden time to 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 jump in there and really help them as the city, as the culture, and the economy is just booming. Yeah, the the plan is is uh, February to make the to make the official move there, and and I don't know how long. You know, I know the commitment will at least take three to five years, so it's at least going to be that long. And if it's the rest of my life at this point, I'm absolutely 100% happy with it. If it, you know, if it leads me to somewhere else. Um, you know, that's fine too, but I'm not putting a timestamp on I just know that's where I need to be every day for the time being. My dream is, is 10, 15 years from now that, you know, New York, London, Milan, Paris, Otis. You know, I really hope that Otis becomes that first, you know, city, you know, in that region of Africa that gets mentioned as a fashion capital. Cool. Sweet. Awesome. Right Thanks, guys. So, yeah, let's get, uh, I was thinking we can just get you on.